We're here in Bahrain for pre-season testing for season 3 in the 2024 Formula 1 season. Teams have been busy over the winter and now can they only test for anything clever they have come up with. Ferrari come into the new season coming off the back of two successful seasons with Leclerc becoming a double world champion and the driver to beat in 2024. Ferrari have also kept their championship winning lineup of Leclerc and Sainz and look to still have a strong car this season. Red Bull were disappointed last season missing out on the title again as Max Verstappen is still searching for his second world title and he's hoping this year will be his year again. Checo Perez keeps his seat in the second Red Bull but is under pressure to perform this season. The Red Bull's looking quick but is it quick enough? Mercedes had a strong start to last season with George Russell winning multiple races in the early half of the season but fell off as the season went on only having a last race in America when reliability denied them of another win. They'll be hoping their 2024 challenger will get them back to the top as they keep the lineup of Lewis and George. McLaren are coming into 2024 having taken the last win of the season with Lando Norris in Brazil last year. They'll be looking to continue their form coming into this season. With Ricardo retiring a seat was available at McLaren and this is where things got very messy over the winter. As it was no secret, Brown wanted out of Aston Martin, having believed Lance Stroll was being favoured over him, even though he seemed to be getting the best results as such his first win in Mexico. However, Brown was locked into a two-year deal with Aston Martin, with no way of getting out of it, apart from a performance clause, but it couldn't be triggered until halfway through the 2024 season. But he had already signed a contract for McLaren. Aston Martin took Brown and McLaren to court, suggesting that Brown had broken his contract and signed for a competitor without telling the team. However, it was found within Brown's performance clause was a points clause that allowed the performance clause to be triggered if he scored less than 40 points in the first year of his contract. Brown scored 36 points in 2023, therefore the clause could be triggered. This meant that the appeal by Aston Martin was thrown out of court, but Brown still had to pay £5,000 in compensation fees to Aston Martin. Coming back to testing, McLaren looked like they have a very strong car this year as they topped the final day of testing. With Brown going to McLaren, Aston Martin decided to sign the TV from Williams, who was out of contract. This gives Aston Martin an all Canadian driver lineup, with Stroll staying at the team. This gives Aston Martin possibly the best lineup ever to exist. But it still doesn't look good for Aston Martin as they set the slowest time on the second day of testing. After Williams let go of Latifi after many poor performances, they decided to sign Haas's Mick Schumacher. However, they had to buy him out of his contract as it did not expire to the end of the 2025 season. Williams had a poor season in 2023 and will be looking to push forward up the grid this season, but some technical glitches left them with limited track time. Williams have also kept Alex Albon. For 2024. Oscar Piastri has finally got his chance in Formula 1 as Haas signed another rookie in Formula 1. There was rumours that Piastri was putting pressure on manager Mark Webber to find him an F1 seat and was close to sacking Mark after talks over a McLaren move broke down. Haas come into the season looking to move up the grid and they believe they have a strong car this year. Alfa Romeo had a poor season last year and looks set to have another as many reliability issues had set them back in testing, limiting their track time. They keep their lineup of Joe and Schwarzman. Alfa Tauri had a very bad start to last season, with it taking them to the Italian Grand Prix and round 8 of the season to pick up their first point. But there were some promising signs as Gasly had a good result in the American Grand Prix at Cota. They're hoping to close the gap to the sister team of Red Bull this season and looking to find more consistent as they keep their driver lineup of Gasly and Ocon. Alpin had a strong pre-season testing, topped in several days and believing they have finally sorted their bad reliability but there were still some technical glitches during the test. They had a good finish to last season with Alonso winning the Brazil sprint and looked to be further at the front end of the grid. Formula 1 has put itself in a bad light as greed has meant the 2024 calendar has only 10 races. It came to light that Formula 1 and Liberty Media were struggling with finances so increased the entry fee for a race which many tracks weren't willing to play so the calendar has been shrunk 
to 10 races. For the first time since 2019, F1 will go to China and will host the second round of the season after the season opener in Bahrain. F1 will also go back to Miami after its two year cycle with Cota. We'll also go to Monaco, Canada, Silverstone, Spa, Monza, Mexico and round the season out with one sprint race in Brazil. That concludes the final day of testing for the 2024 Formula 1 season before everything kicks off in Bahrain in what looks to be the most anticipated Formula 1 season ever.